Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. A mesmerizing celestial event unfolded on Monday afternoon as the solar eclipse cast its shadow over New Brunswick. While spectators in the likes of Fredericton, Florenceville, Bristol and Miramichi were on the path of totality and got to see the total eclipse of the sun, Charlotte County residents enjoyed near-perfect viewing conditions with the moon almost completely covering the sun around 4.30 p.m. That's when the sky got dark and the air got cold. In St. Stephen, nearly 250 people, young and old, gathered at the waterfront of the St. Croix River for a solar eclipse glow dance party to celebrate the rare experience. The municipality handed out free glow sticks, popcorn and cotton candy to event goers to add to the excitement and celebratory nature of the day. In St. Andrews, solar eclipse seekers congregated in Market Square to take in the natural phenomenon. Lynn Mayo, owner of the Weave Fabric Shop, decided to close up shop for the day and bring her Monday sewing group outside on the patio for the once or twice in a lifetime experience. Well, on Mondays we actually have open sews here at the fabric shop, so it happened to fall on the same day, but the ladies insisted on still sewing today, so we've popped outside to take a look. Traffic was closed to vehicles on the Market Square Wharf to make way for eager spectators. Families, friends and curious onlookers alike gathered in anticipation on the waterfront, not to mention on patios, with schools even dismissing early to allow students the opportunity to witness the spectacle firsthand. Against the backdrop of the region's pristine weather, the eclipse unfolded in all its splendor with minimal air pollution enhancing visibility across the province and providing the perfect setting for an unforgettable experience. And while the next total solar eclipse won't grace North America until August 23, 2044, the memories of this celestial phenomenon will surely linger for years to come. The eclipse may have lasted merely minutes, but it was a powerful reminder of the vastness and beauty of our universe, inspiring awe and curiosity in those who witnessed it, and sparking a sense of wonder about the world beyond our own. Finally, Lindia Stubbard, a passionate nine-year-old from St. Stephen, is on a mission to spruce up her community. After successfully hosting a town-wide cleanup of St. Stephen last spring, this year she's rallying all Charlotte County residents to participate in a county-wide cleanup. We're just trying to get people to clean around Charlotte County and just do as much as possible. I just like don't like looking at the garbage and stuff and it makes me sad because it affects this environment. Just the more people that can do it, the more that we can clean up. If you're in the St. Stephen area, Lydia's second annual community cleanup starts at 12.30 p.m. sharp on April 20th, with volunteers meeting at the Border Arena parking lot. Other Charlotte County communities like Blacks Harbor, Camp Abello, Deer Island and St. Andrews are joining the cause with their own versions of the event. Armed with gloves, garbage bags and a shared sense of purpose, Charlotte County residents will set out to beautify their community, picking up one piece of litter at a time. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow me, Vicki Hogarth, on Facebook and subscribe for free to CHCO TV on YouTube. A news and public affairs production of CHCO TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.